Kevin from the TikiNation.com. I wanted to give you a little gift for this holiday season. And one of the favorite all-time Christmas songs in every ukulele Christmas party or meetup is Jingle Bell Rock by Bobby Helms. Classic. Everybody recognizes it. So I thought in this lesson, I'd teach you how to play the little introduction for that. It's a little technical, but once you get it down, you're going to impress your friends and neighbors, and it'll be really fun to learn. So let's break it down, lick by lick, trick by trick, so you can sound like a pro. Kev here. Hey, if you like these lessons and you want to learn more about playing the ukulele, then hit the subscribe button. And also remember to go down and check out the TikiNation.com, our small yet mighty ukulele community where we live, love, learn, and play the ukulele. It's all about the youth. So join us there and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And now back to our regularly scheduled lesson. This is our mission. Pretty slick and filled with tricks, you will notice that there are little dots suspiciously placed on your instrument. These are position markers. They help you find where you are on the neck. So most ukuleles have position markers on 5, 7, 10, and 12. And when you're looking at the neck of my ukulele, there's two dots on 7 and there's two dots on 12. So we're going to start by putting our finger on the seventh fret, the index finger, and then we're going to put our middle finger right next to it on the next string on the eighth fret. And that's going to be our first position. And we're going to pluck those two strings. We're going to use a specific technique for plucking this, and let's take a look at that. You're going to use your index and your middle finger as a little claw. And just like if you were scratching an itch with your two fingers, you're going to put those on the string like this, and then you're going to have your seven and eight, and you're going to scratch it. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a triplet. Triplet. But you could think of it as jingle bell, jingle bell. Now we're going to do one other little thing with this, and that is we're going to slide those two fingers in. So we're in this position. So stare right at the double dots where your fingers are now and back your fingers up wherever you want, but keep staring right there and then slide in. If you're staring, you're going to find it. So you're going to slide in and you go triple let and we count it as we slide. Jingle bells. That's our first thing. Jingle bells. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten our finger out so we're barring a partial bar across strings one and two, but we're going to slide into that seventh fret with, onto the double sevens. And we're going to say jingle bell again. Jingle bell. And then we're going to do that first slide, the seven and eight one again. And this time we're going to do this. Jingle. And to do the jingle, you play seven and eight, right? And then you'll notice that if you're in position, you have one finger for each fret, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Look how the pinky fits perfectly on 10. So if I move that finger back over there and I lift up the ring finger, then that's all I have to do is I keep these two down. Jingle. So practice that a couple of times. Jingle, jingle. So now we've got three little kind of tricks that we can do to help us remember this. We're going to slide into the seven and eight, doing a, a triplet, jingle bells. And we're going to slide into the seven, jingle bell. And then we're going to slide back into the first one, jingle. So far, so good. So next what we're going to do is we're going to do a little movement. So we did this. Now we're going to do is we're going to take 
that index finger is on the first string and we're going to move it straight across and place it on the C string on the seventh fret. And then you're going to pluck those two middle strings. And then your next move is going to be to take the pinky and jump from here to the second string and then play the two middle strings. So let's look at that again. Slide in, jingle bells, slide into the double sevens, jingle bell, and then we're going to slide back in for the jingle on seven and eight, jingle, move the finger from there to there, play the two middle strings, all, then you're going to add your pinky onto the tenth fret where the dot is, and pluck the two middle strings, the... Let's look at that from a different angle. Seventh and eighth fret sliding in. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle. Move the finger all. Pinky comes down. Tenth fret, second string. Everything is still pushed down here. The. Excellent. So now we're going to do the tricky bit, and that is a double bend. But don't panic, I'm a trained professional. I will get you through this. For the last part of the lick, our goal is to do this. So let's break down how I did that. You're gonna start by putting your, your uh, ring finger on the 10th fret and your middle finger on the 9th fret. And you're going to use your claw below and you're going to you're going to grab the two middle strings and pluck it kind of hard and then bend. You're going to push down and and towards you. And then you're going to pull it back right when you get it to the, the top of the bend. Like that. Now, if you don't have enough string uh, uh, muscles to do that, just just keep trying. You'll eventually get it. But you could go, you could push it a little bit, and then pluck it again on the way back down. If you can't, if you don't have enough gusto to get the part of the band. So we've got that little, and then we're gonna. After that, we're gonna have our index finger right where it is, A, and then we're gonna do a position shift. And we're going to move back a fret, and we're going to go to 9 and 7. So if I put that in context with what we've learned. That's the lick, right? Let's look at it from a different angle. So this is how we do our band. So I've got my ring finger onto the ninth fret, second string, middle finger is on the third string or the C string, and I'm on the ninth fret there, and I'm gonna pluck the two strings and I'm gonna push them and pull them back right away. And like I said before, if you don't have enough gas, you can pluck it here and pull it back. So you can either or nobody but you and I will ever know the difference. So how do I get into that lick? It's a little bit tricky how to get your bend. So let's look at that from the beginning. We got our jingle bells, we slide in. We're, everything's around the seventh and eighth fret right now. Plucking those two strings, moving across, plucking those two strings in the middle. Now, I'm in the wrong position here. So what I want to do is I want to put my ring finger on the same place where my pinky is. So I just move it, I do a switch. And I do my bend. And from my bend, my fingers are in position. So this finger is already over the eighth fret. And then I'm just going to move back one fret, and I'm going to use my ring finger on 9, and then my index finger on 7. 
So we started with our lick, right? We slid in, seven and eight. Then we slid in on a double seven. Jingle bells, right? And then we're gonna go jingle. We slide into seven and eight again, jingle. Now we're gonna move our finger across, play the two middle strings, all. Then we're gonna add the pinky on the second string, keeping these two down, the. And now I look where my pinky is and I wanna put that finger right where my pinky is. So I jump down and then I, right away, I, I dig in, I bend it. And then I drop my index finger. See how they're one finger for each fret? My index finger is right in posi position. And then I'm going to do a position switch and move to seventh position again. And that way I'm going to use my ring finger for nine and end the lick on the seven. Was awesome so that is the lick in its entirety but what screws people up all the time when you're playing this lick in a meetup is nobody knows how to start where the chords start and so we have to add a little run in there and learn how to count it right so if we do that we've got this one two three Four, five, a six, seven, eight. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. So that's how we get into it. So I'm going to break that down for you, and then we'll practice the whole thing. And then, bam, you got it. You'll know how to count it, and you'll be able to teach the people who you play ukulele with how to do it so they don't come in at the wrong time and screw everybody up. It's the right thing to do. So here's the little tag on the end. It's going to be the G note, the first fret, open, and then the D note. And then you strum your first chord. And we're going to count that like this. A six, seven, eight, strum. A six, seven, eight, strum. That'll make sense in a second. So let's go back to our original lick and we're going to slide in. And right when you hit that note on the seventh fret, that's where you start counting. And you go one, two, three, four, five, a six, seven, eight, strum. Super fun tune. Awesome. Fun to play. Also, it's super fun to sing. And I love to do some interpretive dance to this song. It makes me happy. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Like I said, I'll celebrate anything. Cheers. See you in the next one. Because done is better than perfect. <laughs>